else has the power to routinely derange as that freakish occurrence called change? And not just change right now, but all change in history. All onslaught of welcome slash unwelcome mystery. Coming to we on my paper thin plans. But let's not get upset. This isn't a threat, as we're told all the time. This is no crime. This is all fine. It's new normal. New normal. Like that's just what we need now to steady the nerves. A complete contradiction in terms. Say it as much as you want, but you tell me. How can a thing we're all used to as normal be also classed as still new? If you're new, it's because I am not used to you. Take your uncle's new beard. When does that stop being weird? Exactly. Normal, you have to be old. Old normal. Like some manky casserole left a go cold that you threw on the floor. Now hardened to form a Jurassic style shore that you have to tread over to get to the door. And your mother comes round and says, what the hell is that casserole on the floor for? Clean it up. It's a health hazard. And it's an eyesore. So you scrape it up, knowing that from that day onwards, nothing will be quite the same. Now what do you do? Find someone to blame? No, you move on. You live with the new. You live with the new till it's normal. New normal. New normal. Norm normal. New normal. Minty fresh novelty congealed into formal. Crusted and worn like an old set of thermals. Comfy as fondling a gerbil. Nonverbal, from vocal. Foreign to local. Dark, handsome stranger to resident yokel. New, you have now become normal. Juan, you have now become Norman. I've just been mulling perception and time. Fear of the unknown, fear of the weird, fear of your uncle's new beard. Of new and new normal, we like normal more. Which is strange when you recall old normals before. The corset, the leech cure, the hundred years war. The genuine prospect of contracting the smallpox. Or ending up sacrificed at the next vernal equinox. Or burnt at the stake for being slightly unorthodox. Or simply not having 10p for the phone box. Thank God these aren't the normals for us anymore. To think. People once thought that the giant squid was evil and that you could survive just on ship's biscuit weevils and that women, for some reason, shouldn't be equal and that neither should whole loads of other people. Yeah, thank God we've dispensed with all that. I used to think normal was painfully boring, but normal can also be painful and appalling. So hang on there. Maybe we need a new normal. Maybe new normal is good. Maybe somewhere between old and old normal and normal and new and new normal, the period formerly known as just normal, then that is the moment we could intervene and change change while that change is yet to be seen. While there's not yet the doomed sense of one great big setup, casseroles on the floor, sure, but still could be cleared up before there's a need of a pickaxe and snowplow to stave off the car crash, to step in somehow at the one point where change change is somehow still allowed. And that point, that brief point, that split second moment, that one point is probably now.